welcome to another dynamic technical video. Today we're going to be looking at the Hikvision 1200Ki keyboard and how to set it up and use it. First of all, once you've got the keyboard plugged in and connected to the network, we need to activate the device, like all Hikvision devices, with a password through the SADP tool. To do this, we need to select our device using the little tick box on the left and then input a password. Now, the 1200Ki keyboard's password structure is a little bit different to most Hikvision devices. It can only carry a maximum of 8 characters. So you need to make sure that your password does not exceed 8 characters, otherwise it will not work. With that set, we can then input an IP address for our device. Like all network devices, we need an IP in our device before it will work. And our network here is working on the 1 range. With that set, we can go into our web browser and access the web front end of the keyboard. Now the 1200Ki also uses HTTPS, so we need to put before the IP address HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash and that will get us to the keyboard. You may also be prompted with this, uh, it's just to do with the HTTPS certificate. If you click more information or more options, it'll allow you to continue to the web page. You can then log in. And this is where we can actually add devices to the keyboard. So unlike uh, RS485 keyboards, the 1200Ki through the network it works similarly to a recorder or to IVMS where you have to add the devices to the keyboard for the keyboard to operate it. So under device management we have our device list, we have the option of IP cameras and IP PTZs, DVRs and MVRs and we can also add decoders to the keyboard. First of all we want to add our uh, DVR or MVR. The 1200 also handily uh, features an SADP option so we can click add SADP and that will search the network for all devices on the network and we can then select the device we wish to add which in this case is the recorder and we can add it to our keyboard like so. We can also add PTZs direct to the keyboard and this just allows us to control the PTZ direct without having to interface with the recorder itself. And that's that. Right, so once we've got our device set up on the network, we then need to log into the keyboard itself. To do this, we need to press the top button on the joystick and that'll take us into the actual login window. From here, we can select password and remember password. Remember password will obviously remember the password on the keyboard that you input, but it's not recommended if you're in a unsecure location. You just use the joystick to cycle through, left or right, to input the password, you need to use the focus plus button just here on the left as this will cycle through the different input methods and then you can use the number keys in the centre to input the actual letters themselves. So if we just input the password of Dynamic1 which we activated the device with and then press OK to log in. From here we have the options of shortcut and system Shortcut is a basic keyboard control method, whereas system is the basic configuration of the keyboard. Generally, rather than using the system menu, it's best always to use the config options that are available on the web front end of the keyboard. If we press the mode option, this gives us all of our keyboard control options, so that is more in-depth than what you would get through uh, Shortcut. We can then use the joystick to cycle through the different menus, in this case, we want to select DVR by IP because that's what we've added our recorder via. And then we get the options of a dev and key. Dev is relating to the, the device number that a device is assigned when you add it via the web front end. And key is just relating to the keys that you're inputting on the keyboard once you have control. In this case, if we press one and dev, that will take control of device one, which is the only device we've got on the system. Now, as you can see, we are currently in the system menu of the recorder. 
We want to move to live view. To do this, we just need to press escape and then escape again. And that will give us our menu control across the top. From here, we need to go into live view just by tapping on the top again. And as you can see, we have a single camera up. Now, if we want to adjust that and maybe have multiple cameras up, we can press the MULT button, which is just under focus minus, just here. And that will cycle through the different layouts available. If we want to select a single camera, we can just press the camera uh, number and that will bring it up full screen. We can then use the iris minus button to call PTZ and then that will give us control of the PTZ like so. If we want to call a preset on the PTZ, we just need to pre press number and that will call the PTZ to that preset like so. The same goes for pattern and patrol. And that's the basics of using the 1200 Ki.